Hi there, my name's Mike and I live in West London. I've lived here since I was 18. Mike, what blood type are you? Um, I don't know. I think O. You've never needed to know what kind of blood type you are? No. No, it's not being important? No. no. Do you think your blood type might have something to do with your character? Or your character might have something to do with your blood type? I've never thought about it. Never thought about it. Mike, what's your favourite country, apart from England, of course? Probably my my favourite countries are Brazil and Cuba, both uh, both countries that I lived in for about four years in each country. Yeah, I think the English language, probably like other languages, is full of its own little colloquialisms and little phrases. Um, one that springs to mind is touch wood. Um, basically, if you're saying something like, uh, oh, I'm having a fantastic time at the moment, business is going very well, touch wood, and you tend to go like this, you touch wood, and basically what it means is that um, you hope that even though you're saying it, that things will keep on like that, so touch wood is like, it's almost like saying, um, if, if God wills it. I think of all the foods that, if I had to say, like, be on a desert island and have a particular food, I think I'd probably choose Italian food. First of all, I think it's very healthy, and it's simple. Um, all the meats and the pasta and everything are very easy to prepare. It's not like French food that tends to be quite complicated, though I do adore French food. Um, saying that, um, I really love Japanese food, especially the uh, sushi. Yeah? Oh yeah, absolutely adore it. When you think about Japan in general, what are the things that spring up into your mind? What images? Um, could be the stereotypes, could be anything that you haven't to... Well, they are the stereotypes, really, because I haven't been to Japan. Right. So, obviously, in this country, with the food, immediately springs to mind is raw fish, and it's either sashimi or sushi or whatever. Yeah. Um, seaweed. Seaweed. Uh, yeah, very much. Um, and I suppose there is quite a lot of talk at the moment about Tokyo as being a very vibrant city, so we, we tend to hear a little bit about that. Uh, the comics... Oh, yeah. the, the, the sort of cartoon um, things seem to be very popular. Now, and now they're even showing films here which are Japanese and they're dubbed in English. And they're quite extraordinary, some of the um, graphics in the comics. We don't get quite the same level here, I don't think. Thanks very much. Lovely. Thanks yeah. for your help today. Tea, tea ceremonies. Arigato. What does that mean? Yeah, it means thank you, doesn't it? <laughs> yes, it does. It's Why? a bit like obri obrigado in Brazil, because we say obrigado for thank you. Ah. I always used to think that arigato uh, sounded quite similar to who, who, Latin language, you know. Who taught you the phrase arigato? Oh, a Japanese this beautiful friend? young Japanese girl. Uh, that's a myth. Uh, I think I just heard it from somebody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So her name was. Um, oh God, what was her name? Nomura or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Satsuko or. <laughs> Oh, uh, by the way, no, one thing I have to say, there is a fantastic uh, crime author, uh, a woman in, I think her name is Natsuo Kurino. All right. And she is just brilliant. And I read her book that was called, I think it was called O. Oh. And, and it was about these four uh, Japanese ladies working in a lunchbox factory and they had a very boring life. And one of the wives kills her, murders her husband because she's so frustrated with the way he deals with her. And the other three girls all help her to cover up the crime. Yeah. And I think she is just an amazing author. It was just a brilliant book. I've read it three times. Wow. I found the book in Cuba, in, in somebody's house. Um, and I really was surprised. Really, you know, just never thought I'd read a novel by a Japanese lady that was uh, so riveting. Yeah. Will you Will you visit Japan one day? Yeah, I'd love to. My, my sister went about two years ago to Tokyo. And she's been all around the world. And she was knocked out. So it was amazing. Wow. Amazing city. She was, and she was amazed by the the level of care that people took when they were serving you, or or, or even they sell you a box of chocolates, and they wrap it up beautifully, and there's such attention to detail. And she said that's something that's totally missing in the West. Yeah. She says she thought this attention to detail was was what stood out. Mm. Mm. Thanks very much. Yeah.